What's up, my lovely Libras? I hope everything is going well with you and you're enjoying the new year. This is Obsidian Lotus L. I'm here to do your daily for the 13th of January, 2021. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, um, show your love and support for my channel. Also, uh, my personals are still at 20 minutes for at least $20, so take advantage of that while you can. And... Um, same days are $40. So that information will be in the description box. Uh, how to pay me, how to contact me, my email address, all that info is in the description box below, guys. Okay, so getting into your energy, let me tell you, I have been, for some reason, I felt like I really needed to get a reading out for you guys because energetically, um, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> But Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio and a Libra magnet this week, okay? So, um, it's crazy to me. Even energetically in my other job, like, I have to, um, basically know people's birth dates in order to do my job, right? So, um, it's like, what is going on with the Libra energy in me? I don't know, but... It's crazy right now. It seems like every Libra I know has reached out to me. Um, I'm getting, it's just like energetically with my other job, Libras. So I feel like <laughs> Libra, we got to talk, right? I feel like that's, that's enough said. Let's get into it. Something has to be said between you and the Scorpio, right? <laughs> Let's get into it, Libra. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I'm actually using my Oracle cards, too. my romance Oracle cards to set the mood the beginning of the reading so um spirit angels ancestors guides help me provide libra sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive please provide libra with any messages wow you would like for them to receive so there's some kind of communication for you right now that's shit period it's hard okay so maybe you're trying to communicate with somebody and you can't or it's hard i don't know all right Maybe it's a Scorpio. Um, let's see. What messages do we have for Libra Spirit? New love. <clears throat> Deception. Wow. Let me just throw it down and then you are lovable. Okay. So for sure, Libra, right? We all know you're lovable. So this card is coming out for a reason, right? You're lovable. You deserve love. So in this energy, I feel like this is what you need to mirror back to yourself, to the universe. You're lovable and the universe is going to give you this new love, okay? I feel like there's been an energy of something being deceptive in your life, whether it was you or somebody wearing a mask or a deceptive mask here, but it was the energy that was blocking something positive from coming into your life. Are you feeling like you deserve this love that you do? Maybe you were putting yourself in a situation where you weren't getting the love that you were deserved, and there was a level of deception here as well for you, okay? Regardless, however that resonates for you, Libra, we have new love, okay? And so the new love coming in is a person, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this is basically, you've got your eye on somebody a lot, <laughs> right? The energy of like maybe doing a little stalking, social media stalking or going, you know, putting yourself in some kind of a location where this person might be energy. Let me just casually bump in, whatever. Something like that, Libra. Okay. Somebody has definitely sparked your interest and you're in the energy here of trying to make it happen or thinking about how, um, yeah, how to go about this. All right. So definitely crushing very, very serious crush energy I've got going on for you. Okay, so let's see. Maybe this is a deception. Maybe there is a mask. Maybe you're pretending like you don't have a crush on this person when you do. Hmm. For somebody, there could be a situation where you're pretending 
because it's a friendship situation and you're kind of denying yourself this energy of that you're lovable here without because you're not being honest here maybe you're not really saying to yourself like I am lovable I am worth like being honest about my feelings with this person okay spirit angels ancestors guys what messages do we have for wow Libra All right, so somebody was deceptive too. There's a deceptive energy and you and that person are lo no longer communicating because of the deceptive energy. Whatever happened, whether it was on your side or your person's side, there's an energy of deceptive energy and communication not being, um, they're not being communication between somebody for somebody. Yeah, justice energy, Libra energy. Okay, showing up first in your own damn reading, right? So <laughs> Libra means business. All right, so Libra, look. You're here to balance the scales out, right? So you're in the energy of new chapter, new cycle, new person, okay? Moving right along. There's an energy, though, still of, like, something controlling your thoughts here. Um, again, I feel like it's this energy of feeling maybe like you're not lovable or desirable or something that kind of um, tries to... I just feel like it's some kind of, I don't know, if it's some kind of toxic way of um, there was like a cycle that you have been used to being in here and you kind of revert, revert back to that thinking maybe showing up. Yeah, but you're changing here. And when in this change, you're changing, you're, you're moving away from this thinking, okay? Again, this is thought too with the Six of Swords, energy, air, energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but think, th this is thought, right? Um, so th with the control here, you're, you're thinking about how to let go of that, how to perceive the world differently so you receive things from the world differently, okay? And this is, oh, you could either be feeling yourself right now, like this is the whole card, like wanting to get out there and enjoy things and have fun in the moment, okay? Or this is the energy of a new beginning, a new fun beginning, um, wanting to get out and enjoy. There's sex, sex, <laughs> basically like uh, that's energy of sex, really. Oh, king of, this is uh, the king of, Pinnacles energy just flew right out on top of that. So there could be a um, an older Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're very sexually attracted to or an energy of somebody who's very grounded. Um, this is my, I like to call him the daddy, right? So he basically is the money guy, the kingpin, the guy that has it all, right? So the, the dom and the subdom. Like he basically owns you, right? I feel like maybe you're attracted to somebody who's like, there's like a, a sexual attraction going on between you and this energy. Um, this could be this new love energy. This is very, this is definitely a dominant energy and I feel like you really like it. You're surprised how much you like it. So maybe you're used to being more dominant, but this energy is like, I feel like you want this person to dominate you and it's surprising you that you like that. That's funny. Okay. The star card. Um, you could be a celebrity. This person could be a celebrity, or this is just the energy of somebody is uh, being noticed here, being in or in the spotlight. Prayers being answered in a sense here too, um, coming in for you because of your work. Okay. So there could be something that you do that, um, people see. Okay. Um, maybe this is how you know this person or you met this person. Um, Aquarius energy and earth energy. This is collaborate. So yeah, somebody that works with you or does some the same thing that you do or has something to do with your work here. 
six of cups energy and then the so somebody's not over their past either so you might not be over your past you have a crush but you're not over your past you still have strong feelings for a past energy here yeah ten of cups hidden feelings. All right. So Libra, you're not over this past person yet. Let's see. What's the challenge between Libra and any other energy right now? Expansion. You want expansion, but you're not willing to, okay. For somebody, they want expansion, but they're in a connection already and they're not willing to take like a leap of faith outside of that connection. So it's kind of like looking, wanting something else, but staying where they are and not changing here or not changing the situation. That's for somebody. 10 of swords energy, but there ends up being, if you don't make the change, spirits is going to do it for you anyway. Some or your person's going to do it because this is the Ten of Swords energy. Uh, maybe this is how your partner already feels, male or female energy. Just because it's a feminine doesn't mean it can't be masculine energy too, right? So it's just a picture. But this is, I feel like for you, Libra, for whoever this makes sense for, if it resonates with you, Spirit's going to make that happen anyway. If you're standing here looking out, like you want something else anyway and your heart isn't there, but you just won't leave, it's going to happen because it's just already energetically going, gone. Okay. What challenges do we have showing up for Libra Spirit? Queen of Wands energy. There's a strong bond between somebody that you have um, a, a casual, you've had a casual sexual relationship with or you work with. A casual relationship maybe there's a strong bond towards somebody that's that you work with that you have or you're sexually attracted to somebody that you casually are around somehow could be a Leo the Emperor in reverse but you're not going towards what you want. This is the emperor upright is basically like the emperor goes after what he wants. So it's just kind of like, if you're not going to go after what you want, this other situation is ending anyway. Spirit is saying, so you should just go after what you want. Um, but somebody's stuck here. Let's see. The fool. And then the five of swords. So somebody wants to take a leap of faith, but still be deceptive. So it's kind of like they want to have their cake and eat it too. I'm getting out of this energy. <laughs> this, whoever that is, shame on you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what um, energy <laughs> do we have coming in for Libra? Spirit. Could have been somebody that wanted to come towards you, Libra, and have their cake and eat it too. Take it however it resonates. Um, four of Swords, Two of Cups. You're putting anything to rest that is basically juggling, okay? This is uh, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, but it's energy of um, somebody putting something to rest that if there's any juggling, you're like, I don't want to have anything to do with it, or that's another party. Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of gossip shit going on right now. Air energy, talking, watching. But there's no movement in something. Hmm. That could be for the crush here. Energy too. You could be no movement towards this person, but watching, or it could be mutual, but this is air energy. So I feel like it's your energy, Libra. Six of cups, but in reverse. So I feel like you're getting over this past connection, but you're not completely over it. 
Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that's been the delay here for you. It's just healing. And then there's an energy of juggling here. What is this? Two of Pentacles or having options. Seven of Wands. Mm. So there... <sighs> I feel like for you, if you've been single and you've had options here, some of the, you've had like several options, like really kind of, you had to get like defensive here. Like I'm not interested with the Knight of Wands. You're just like, I'm not interested. You're looking over here and you've kind of tried to been, you've tried to heal from whatever this delay was and you're looking over there. Okay. That's for somebody. What's the final outcome? Best advice. You aren't going to be alone anymore because that shot out and the nine of cups in reverse. So if you've been alone, you won't be for long. <laughs> what else, spirit? Ace of cups. I don't think I need to draw anything else. This is a new relationship. A divine blessing coming in. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. It's just the energy of the card. So the ace of cups is representing a new relationship. Eight of Pentacles, and this is somebody that, you know, is, this has something to do with work somehow, and maybe you're going to meet this person because of work, or you guys end up working together, and there's some kind of a connection that ends up happening here because of that. Hmm. Or you meet this person at their work or something that has to do with work. What is this eight of pentacles spirit? That's way too many. What the hell just came out though? Ten of cups, queen of swords, four of wands, the world, ten of swords in reverse. This could be like a twin flame connection. You already, maybe somebody's like, this is air energy being honest. You're like, yeah, you want this 10 of cups, four of wands. You want to move in together. You want to have the family or support and loving relationship. You're tired of endings here. So it's kind of like, I feel like you're really, it's the energy of kind of having a super duper crush Maybe you've been through something, uh, you're more comfortable. I feel like I'm getting the energy of somebody who's more comfortable in a relationship. Okay. If you, if you're healing, being out of a relationship, you're more comfortable in a relationship. So I'm getting the energy of wanting to like, be sure that's what you want to be involved in. Yeah. And not end up stuck in something you're not motivated to be in here. Yeah. And six of pentacles, you want to equal give and take devil energy hmm there's an energy here for somebody's not sure if they want to give to other people yet either still so maybe libra your person could be getting out of a commitment and not sure if they want to settle down yet again or not or like they're fighting with like they're trying to decide whether they want to or not but you I mean the the final outcome was the two of you coming together so maybe this has just been the delay this person kind of making up their mind here about what they want to do all right what other messages do we have spirit for Libra the key You know what makes you happy. This is the tree. This is like family. This foundational energy. So I feel like for you, you maybe like family is important or some kind of foundational energy or something. This is this message that is important for you, Libra. Maybe spirit is saying like, 
move towards what you know makes you happy anyway. And it's just going to flow. Like move towards what energy you know makes you happy. And you're going to have good luck. Look with the clovers. I love it. Okay. Let me get my rude and crude oracle deck out and see if I can cuss at you a little bit before we end. <laughs> Since you're into the doms now, Libra, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, what messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising? Two shout outs, so we're going to take them both. Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. So if there's somebody you feel like you need to apologize to, this is your sign, right? If you needed one, there it is. And then don't let your issues fuck it up. Some good shit's about to happen. I like this one a lot. Right? Don't fuck it up. <laughs> I gotta tell myself that on a daily basis. Don't fuck it up. All right. I do have some Libra in my chart too, so I can I can say it. Don't fuck it up, Libra. Right? <laughs> Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Libra. Someone rising with any more messages you would like for them to receive. Your children on heaven and earth are happy and well and cared for by the angels. I love this. All right. See so if we can get another message. And you are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So if you've been thinking about making a drastic change, move, investment, whatever, something, I feel like Spirit is, you'll know this if it makes sense for you, a big change in something. I feel like Spirit is saying do some research before you make a just fast, super quick move. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Until next time, guys, lots of love and light. Like I said before, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the positive things to help my channel grow. And also, if you would like a personal reading, again, like I said at the beginning of the reading, they are still $20 for at least 20 minutes and $40 for same day. So take advantage of that pricing. Um, like I said, that's the price and the payment information and email address information is in the description box below guys until next time. Lots of love and light. Bye.